Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we have gun number two of the Road to Dark Ether in Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. The gun that we're going to be going over today is the AK-74U. If you guys did miss the last gun that we did, which was the first one of the episode, we did the MP5. I will link that down in the description so you guys can go check that out. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the AK-74U. If you guys do, go ahead and enjoy this video, or if it does help you in any way or anything like that, make sure to click the like button and also subscribe for more guns coming in the future. Let's hop into the challenges and how to unlock these bad boys. And first off, we got 2,500 kills with the AK-74U. This one is obviously self-explanatory. You just got to get the kills. You got to grind it out. It takes a little bit of time, but it's all right. Next one, 2,500 crucial hit kills. Um, this one, number one thing I will always say is run deadshot to accurate if you're not good at getting headshots. Um, and always make sure you're going for the headshots when it's lower rounds, when you're just starting off in the game. Make sure you're getting the headshots. Those are the easiest times to get headshots on zombies that are obviously walking very slow. So make sure you're getting as many headshots as you can. Always be aiming high. And like I said, do the train strategy. The train strategy I am using all the time in this video. Like just do what I do. You train up a big horde and then you just mow them down. It gets you almost all of these challenges that I'm about to tell you by just doing it. So that's the best strategy rather than just running around shooting one zombie at a time trying to go for headshots. The train strategy is so much faster. I promise you that. Next one is going to be 2,500 kills with Pack-A-Punch weapon. The strategy that I use to get Pack-A-Punch fastest is I like to play solos or you don't have to play solos you can play with a buddy but I like to just stay in the starter room and basically wait it out to round seven eight and then as soon as I get a lot of points and it's round seven or eight I'll go ahead and open up the whole map and then do pack a punch I do this because the spawns go way quicker if you don't open any doors if you're already like you know round four and you open two doors already there's way more spawning points that have opened on the map that zombies can now spawn at and it'll take a lot longer the fastest spawning points in the game are in the starting room so definitely just stay in the starting room it'll make the time when the rounds go a lot faster in the beginning the next one then is going to be elite kills honestly uh elite kills i don't find too hard with the ak um usually when you actually upgrade the gun um it gets you a way bigger magazine and that's uh, nice for killing these things i like to make sure to use like stuns or grenades and throwables and stuff like that to weaken the uh boss before we actually go ahead and shoot them with the gun and basically once they're weakened and stuff you just try to mow them down um waiting till end of round so there's only a couple zombies and then trying to take out the boss is a good strat for people that can't really take out the boss and kill zombies at the same time um, so I would suggest maybe trying that if you're somebody who can't do that um, Next one is going to be the 10 kills rapidly 10 times Super super easy strategy is the train strategy I'm doing it like I said in all this gameplay This is literally what I'm doing You just train a huge horde of zombies up without shooting any of them And then you go down a path and you mow them down I do it in the starter room because it's the easiest I feel like But you can do it anywhere um, outside near like Juggernaut and near the um mystery box area down near quick revives a good spot um and that's really the only good spots is like ones that are outside i don't really like training anywhere else but those are my main training spots uh, but just do that strategy and i promise it'll work you'll get those challenges done literally in a heartbeat um next one is get three or more crucial kills rapidly once again this is really really easy you could start doing this in the beginning rounds you don't even have to wait till like bigger rounds to do this because it's only three headshots literally in the beginning like round one just get three of those zombies make sure they're close to each other and just mow them down and make sure you're aiming at their head um very very easy you can start doing that in low rounds you don't necessarily have to have a huge train to do this challenge and then the last but not least we get 10 or so my fault 20 or more consecutive kills with the ak-74u um without getting hit 10 times this one the train strategy like i said this one literally gets uh, the train strategy gets literally the last three challenges done instantly um but yeah just do that or uh, then the other one that you can do for this is like do it in the beginning um you don't necessarily have to wait high rounds to get this last one if you just run around and make sure you don't get hit in the beginning rounds very easy once again if you're staying in the starter room 
Um, it's not that hard to run around and make sure you don't get hit by a zombie for the first like five, six rounds. Um, and you'll honestly probably get like halfway through these challenges just by doing uh, round one through six without getting hit. Um, so yeah, just do that or like I said, the train strategy at a high round, one of the two. Um, but that is going to be it for the actual challenges. Now we're going to move into the creative class part of this. And uh, we're going to show you guys the overall best creative class that I think you guys should rock or at least attempt to try in Call of Duty when you're doing the challenges for this gun. Now the AK-74U is actually one of the only guns that I use the regular iron sights on. I think the iron sights are very good on this gun, especially in this game. Um, so I don't rock a reflex on this gun, but you can if you don't like the iron sights. Um, that's literally a personal preference between everybody, the iron sights of guns. I can't tell you whether you like that or not, so you gotta make that decision on your own. Anyways, for the muzzle section, I like to run the flash guard 5.56. For the barrel section, I like to run the 9.3 inch VDV reinforced. For body, I like to uh, I like to run the mounted flashlight. Um, basically, any of the flashlights that actually increase the salvage drop rate is what I would recommend doing. Um, I believe there's like three different options for it. So one of those um, one of those lasers that makes your sal um, salvage rate drop go up um use that because if you have more salvage and stuff dropping it's so much easier to buy stuff and get like grenades to kill elite kills um and stuns and stuff or just buying self revive and stuff like that um i always use stuff that makes like salvage drop rate go up almost for any attachment it's such an overpower thing to use and it honestly does drop a lot lot more than the normal rate uh next is the under barrel we use the um, Spence, Spence, Spence Naz grip. I think that's how you pronounce it. A little, little weird uh, pronunciation there, I think. But um, next one is the magazine. We use the 40 round speed grip. The next one we use the handle. Uh, we use the serpent wrap. And then the next one that we use is the stock, which is the duster stock. Um, that one is honestly one of the ones that I also like to use for like all the guns if I can put it on the duster stock because it makes you slide um, faster and I just personally think sliding faster and movement in this game is key especially in zombies uh, so I like to run those um, I had that on the mp5 and I like to put that on this gun it's another one of my little secret things where sliding I like to slide at least a lot in zombies so it's just like one of those secret attachments that a lot of people might not actually know about um, but that is going to be it for the actual create a class part of this let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the ak-74 u if you guys have used it yet and also let me know in the comment section below any attachments or not attachments any other guns that you want me to use um, in the comment section below for future videos right like i said i uh, did two smgs now i'll try to switch it up but i have been going for um, plaque diamond SMGs, which I'm very close actually, so I do have a lot of my SMGs done and um, pretty much maxed level for all of them. So we're gonna have some videos on the SMGs coming soon, and soon we'll have plaque diamond gameplay of me actually using it. So that is hype too. Um, but anyways, without further ado, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys are here to the end, you guys are amazing. Make sure to click my. Uh, links in the description for my previous mp5 video or if you guys have already watched that and want to just head to my website or my merch store or anything like that links are in the description along with all my social medias like twitter twitch and everything like that but anyways hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day thank you guys so much for all the support and until the next time peace